But he lamang na lamang na dito si Karo eh. Tinawanan pare, tinawanan ni Magnus pare. Black, as you really would like to take the G2 pawn for the H4 pawn, like release your own rook, uh, that would be good. You want connected. Tuling nila yun na naisip nila yung ganyan. He's not allowing that. He's giving the king a bunch of check. You can run forward. Di siya pwede dito yung king. Kami po. Push it to the other side of the board and then start going after the black pawns. So this is exactly what Magnus is doing. Hikaru has to step back and look at this back and forth shuffling pieces. The H4 pawn remains a target. The black rook has to stay passively defending. Ano sa isip nila pa ganyan? Okay, protected. <clears throat> Black's uh, plan should have been to get the rook to the second rank to tie down that white king to the g-pawn. You mentioned Robert, that you have to go for that trade. You have to get that remaining uh, white. Lamang si Ikaro ng isang pawn eh. In order to get your central pawns rolling, and now he's kind of tied up his own rook, Ikaro. I don't like, like where the black rook is placed. It's in front of his own pawns, blocking your only plan of advancing them. And now really. Kula na di naman tawid ng king parang tulne. King now can never step down the board to the sixth rank and uh, has to start marching over to harass that rook. But uh, again, Magnus is going to start attacking some pawns, just keeping those uh, black pieces honest, keeping the black rook or king tied down. Maybe Magnus is going to get the draw of the bar back closer towards the center, but okay, now decision time. Do you Magnus surrender central pawns and go for white pawns? No, you have to keep your pawns intact in the middle uh, just to keep some chances alive. An important theoretical endgame is if white loses both pawns for the e5 pawn, that is a theoretical draw. I know from experience, I had that position against Vishwanath and Anand. I had the two pawns. He held the draw. And so it's something that both players know. And that's why Hikaru is clinging on to this e pawn. He's going to advance to Hikaru. And that will create threats if the black king gets active. That black king were on the fourth or fifth rank. But this is not dito. That would be good news, but the king is cut off. Magnus's rook is in the perfect position. Yeah, if that king was better placed, that black king, I think he'd be winning. Eh na pare. But he's going for it now. Delicado na si Magnus. Without his king. Oh, this is either very good or it will blow the winning chances. I do fear for Hikaru that actually now the black rook is stuck defending its own pawns. You need to connect the king with your pieces with the rest of your army. Magnus can he hold this one with less than 10 seconds? He's doing all the right things so far. The most important thing for Magnus is to make sure that Black's king doesn't advance. Hey, he book ni Magnus, he yeah. does keep the king blocked, but the bar does not approve of that. And uh, I'm wondering why not? Does Black have something really strong? The winning plan is not going to be obvious. Protected lah, uh, Protected, to. Protected, to. Protected, to. Protected to. Ito lang hindi. And uh, I'm expecting Hikaru to move his rook away at some point. You need to activate those Black pawns. At the moment, everything's a bit stuck. Black Rook needs to move. Magnus Carlsen doesn't believe in fortresses. He famously said that, but I do think that we could see a fortress here. I know the eval bar looks like it's great for Black, but sometimes you can't actually break through. But look, the Rook retreats. That means the Black King can step forward. That is not good news for Magnus. And watch out for Hikaru to bring his King up and then push his F4 pawn to F3. Just jettison that pawn so his King can enter the position and go for checkmating ideas. Yeah, note how Hikaru just from time to time he repeats the position yeah, just to put the pressure on the say, okay, I'm in control uh you we're definitely not going for a draw but i'm just going to tease you with that and look at this suddenly the white rook moves and what's happening can the black rook make headway against the lone white king maybe you needed to check from the bottom of the board and then go behind the white king is he car winning it feels like he should be the black king is so active now we said as long as the black king joins the action you're winning but what's the killer plan and he stops he takes a pause he knows that there's something in the position he's trying to calculate and that is the right thing to do he knows that he's made maximum progress but where is the killer vegeta art kasi magdus release from the f file somewhere along the second rank and the black king is a state for d4 d3 into e2 and whoa he plays f3 right away and was that a good choice i'm surprised he committed with st uh, with so little time on the clock, he could have repeated and gone back to this. Robert, earlier you mentioned that F pawn and H pawn together is a draw, but E pawn and H pawn is winning because they're so far apart. White's defenses will be stretched. Can the black can come in now? Is it Sobrang hirap nito. So Kaya ito ko pare, may hirapan ako dito. Every time you do move your rook away from here, white king steps forward and everything is under control. He's got to get the king into the attack to save to help that E pawn advance further. I'm expecting a king advance right now, but watch out for a rook check that might pick up the H pawn. Yeah, you have to be careful where you put the black king right now. You don't want to allow any nasty checks from the white rook behind. Okay, he retreats his rook really clever. Now look at the white king. It's cut off. It can never move towards that black central pawn because the black rook cuts along the f-file and Hikaru bobs his head. He thinks he's very strong. The king is coming now. Wait, but he's going to How is he going to run away? The king goes to the c-file, the rook just slides over, and you can't push the e-pawn. And now they're you're more distance from the king. So the king goes to d3, you see the bar go back to equal. So react Hikaru as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I thought he still a great winning chance, but he allows the king forward, but then the rook comes to g3 with check. So that's why Magnus slides backwards, and his king is no longer cut off. That means that Magnus Carlsen should be able to hold.
Yeah, Hikaru, maybe there was a more accurate way of doing it. It wasn't easy. Oh, ina mga kain yung pato. Suddenly, Magnus's rook is active. Suddenly, you can start giving checks from the side. And now he wants to give the king to the other side. He wants to create. What did you need? Oh, I'm not too. But Magnus slides all the way back with the rook to give backward checks to Black King. And this just looks like with the Black Rook stuck here, there will be no saving the Black King from checks anymore. We're gonna see a hundred checks. But the Black King is not going to be able to save it. But the Black King is not going to be able to save it. But the Black King is The Black King could hide in front of his own pawns. Hey, IQ just yan paro. So mo baba IQ ko. Retreating the Black King towards the White Rook, then suddenly your pawns might drop off. And look at Kikaru. He's, He's so furious. frustrated right now. And it's the wrong pawn, the H pawn. So if the king goes back, the white king steps forward. The rook will take this pawn on e3, and the king is inside the square. When king and pawning games, you try to chase down the pawn. You make a square to the promotion uh, point. And here he. Oh, he's not going to pawn. What are you doing? But right. no more progress. I think black is completely frozen now. Ah, but, Protected, uh, pal. Sorry, sorry, pal. King starts running over. Still nowhere to hide, I guess. And uh, okay, past the hundred move mark. This has been a marathon game. Can Hikaru squeeze out a win? What a fight! Magnus thinks he's drawing. He leant back there, looking very happy with himself, but uh, still chances alive. I agree with Robert. I think it's the wrong pawn. The black rook is just on the worst possible square, tied down, defending both of them. The black rook is passive. You need active pieces to win these types of end games. Tabla topar, may tatabla pa yata to ni Magnus. This is if Magnus holds. And it's just amazing the defense that he's shown, and we can see Hikaru that he's giving up on this. He knows that there's no way to improve this position further. The black rook is tied down to defending that e3 pawn and the h3 pawn. Magnus continues to attack the black king with checks. There's no place to hide, and we see Hikaru leaning back. He knows he's done everything, but it's not been enough. So brang galing ni Magnus, no? Down under ten seconds now, Hikaru. Nana tabla niya pa yon. Naigita ng sarili ko sa kanya. About to agree that draw, just all the checks. Look at that black king. So sad, has to retreat the whole way back, and this pattern is just going to continue. The black king is going to chase the white rook, but to no avail. The white rook is just going to move, hide, check. And uh, cause all the problems in the world. And at this point, Hikaru might just be going for the longest game in Champions Chess Tour history. Because back, buddy. Welcome back, buddy. 16, it seems. And it's going to keep going because Hikaru is just going to hope for a Magnus Carlsen mistake. But the issue for Hikaru, his rook is completely frozen in place. If it ever leaves the third rank, the pawns are going to fall off. And the king, it wants to help out in protecting the pawns, but the rook keeps checking. So as long as the king is far away from the rook, the rook Dick. keeps checking it, and the king has nowhere to hide. Dick. And we see that happening, and now he just shifts back because there's nothing to be done, and it doesn't. Galing nun na tablo pani Magnus pare. Closer to the pawns, Magnus starts checking it, driving it away. Yeah, no progress has been made over the last twenty moves now. Tay natin yung tawa, tatawa na yun. Okay. Yeah, can he recover from this heartbreak? And lots of cheers as we see for Hikaru on Twitter, and yeah, he's put up such a fight. I love everything Hikaru has done this game. Just is that a Hikachu? Hikachu. Hikaru or Hikachu? It's just so close. This is the most frustrating thing in chess. You do everything right. Hikaru has literally not put a foot wrong this game, but breaking the defenses of the world number one. That's another level. But there is something to take away from it. The fact that Hikaru was able to create this chance, this opportunity with the last place that you were talking about, going into the last round on his terms, and that's what he's managed to create. He's made it clear that Magnus needs to be careful. There we have it. Natinawanan pare, grabe naman to si Magnus. Nakikita kong sarili ko sa galing niya. Kumbaga papunta siya sa ano, sa papunta siya sa peak ng karir niya. Dito pa lang ako nagsisimula pa lang ako. Pero nakikita ko min sobrang galing talaga ni. Diba? Bastos eh, no? Bastusan talaga eh.